Alrighty guys, welcome back. For our last bit of character controller tutorials here, uh, we're gonna look at uh, AI characters. And this is the main reason why we have a separate character controller object and a uh, third person player object. The player is uh, your user controls. And for this, we'll be using um, the computer to control a third person character for us. So they call this AI, it barely counts as that. We are basically just going to detect the player within a certain distance and then just move towards the player. But this is extendable enough that we could have the character uh, wander around when the player is not in range or pathfind through other patrol points or whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, hop into the code here real quick. Uh, this is just another standard uh, component data. We just have a float for our detection distance. And this also is gonna be using uh, physics, uh, the physics world to check the distances to our player. And for that, we'll need a filter for the collisions. And it's just gonna be a regular uh, physics category tag. And here, like normal, we are uh, baking it out into our authoring entity here. All right, so our system here, uh, just a normal system base. Uh, on our update, we are grabbing a reference to our physics world, which is what we'll be using for our collision checks or our distance checks. Uh, and uh, we have a native list of distance hit. And this is what our uh, calculate distance function is going to return us. Uh, here in our job, we are just getting the uh, third person character controller, uh, the AI controller that we'll put on our uh, NPC copy, uh, and then it's local transform. Uh, we'll make sure that we clear out uh, the list on every frame, uh, then we will allocate this uh, hits collector. And finally here, this is our point uh, distance input. This is what our calculate distance will use uh, in order to find whatever is in range. So this struct just has the source position, uh, the distance that we're gonna check, and then we have a collision filter here that we check against. Uh, this is just gonna be uh, the default collision filter and our collides with. We're just gonna use uh, an everything. You could set this to only detect um, players or a team tag or whatever you want. All right, and here we have our physics world dot calculate distance. We feed in our distance input and then it will spit out this uh, hits collector here. Uh, then we will cycle through everything that got detected. Uh, this would be a list of entities. We cycle through them all uh, and then we will just check to see if the entity has a third person character component, which would be our player and also other NPCs. And then we check that it does not have uh, the AI controller. So if it's an NPC, it will have the AI controller. We need to ignore that. And if it doesn't have that, then this is gonna be our player. In a multiplayer game, uh, this would be, you could potentially have multiple players. Uh, this is just going to select the first one. I don't know if it's ordered or not. This could be the closest player, but I haven't tested that out yet. So yeah, and finally, uh, if we have an entity selected here, uh, then we just take our the local transform of that selected entity and then subtract that from our local position of the NPC. That gives us our direction to the player. Uh, and then we just set the move vector to it. And if we're out of range here, then uh, we're just going to stand still. You could set this to, like I said, wander to another random location if you want. Um, but that would complicate things a lot here. Uh, so yeah, so let's just hop into Unity and check this out. All I did here was copy our third person character here, uh, change this color, uh, and then just added a character control authoring script to it. We're well, giving a distance of eight. The uh, distance filter here is everything. And uh, the players themselves, uh, characters don't have, well, I guess this character just has a capsule collider. Uh, if you wanted to 
use uh, the physics uh, categories tag, uh, then you would need to use a physics shape here. This is the, uh, uh, that's the material tag. Collision filter here collides with. So here, if we were to change uh, the capsule collider to a physics shape, we could give it a capsule. Then we could use the collision filter uh, to specifically filter out what we're detecting here. Uh, so yeah, let's just pop in and check this out. So you'll see as soon as we get in the range, uh, they will chase. When they get out of range, they stop. And since they are just characters, they will also pop our jump pad and they'll be affected by the speed pads as well. So yeah, that is uh, basically it here. Um, we may come back to the character controllers later. Um, I do want to uh, get these integrated in with the uh, netcode for entities as well. Uh, we may do that next time, but that would probably be a separate series. So as far as this one is concerned, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this or want to see anything else from the character controller, definitely leave a comment. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time.